Good day grade 9 learners and welcome to Tumamina Teaching. You are tuned into your first lesson of term 4 and today ladies and gentlemen I got good and bad news. The good news is we are combining all the things that we've learned from term 1 to term 3 and the bad news is that sometimes learners struggle with this concept especially when you combine everything. But don't worry we have some tricks up our sleeves to make things a bit easier for you. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so for the first lesson, we'll be focusing on cash and credit transactions and how they affect the accounting equation. All right, grade nine, so most of these transactions will not be new to you. All we'll be doing is making sure that we distinguish which ones are which and apply them on the accounting equation. Just a side note, before we get started, the business we're looking at will be selling goods at a profit markup of 50% on cost price. So let's look at the first transaction. Purchase stock from Simon Wholesalers for 8,000 Rand, paid with an EFT. The word purchased, paid and EFT all indicate that a payment was made and the specific purchase was trading stock. This will affect the accounting equation as follows. Cash and trading stock is both assets, which means your assets will decrease because your cash decreases if you purchase or buy something. Your trading stock will increase as you now have more trading stock. Let's also look at the summary of this transaction. The source document for this transaction will be the EFT reference number. The journal will be the cash payments journal, CPJ. And as you already know, trading stock will debit and bank will credit with the amount of 8,000 Rand. Let's look at the next transaction. Sold goods with a cost price of 500 Rand to M. Malby and issued an invoice. Okay, great line learners. As you know, we have to stop, evaluate, and look at the keywords of the transaction. Okay, so the business sold goods and issued an invoice. That means the business sold something on credit. Now remember grade nine learners, you should also calculate the selling price. Can you remember how to do this? Let's have a look. All right, grade nine learners, quickly pause this video and talk to a friend right next to you and calculate the selling price for this transaction. Let's go. Alright, the answer in 3, 2, 1. The selling price will be 750 Rand. That is 500 Rand times 150 divided by 100 Rand, which equals to 750 Rand. Please go to term 1, lesson 1 if you can't remember to calculate the selling price. Okay, so how will we record this transaction on the accounting equation? Let's have a look. The debtors, which is an asset, will increase as another business bought on credit from the business. The trading stock, which is also an asset, will decrease as we have sold trading stock. It is also important to record whether the business have made any profit or losses because of this transaction. I hope that you could agree that the business has made a profit of 250 Rand. Now that is 750 minus 500 Rand. Let's look at the summary of this transaction behind me. The source document will be a duplicate invoice. Now remember grade nines, the original invoice is given to the customer. The journal where we will record this transaction is the DJ. That is the debtor's journal. The four accounts that will be influenced is debtor's control and cost of sales, which will be debit and sales and trading stock that will be credited. The sales and debtors control amount will be the selling price of 750 Rand and cost of sales and trading stock will be the cost price of 500 Rand. Okay, so I would like you to do the next one on your own. Purchased equipment on credit from Heidi traders for 9,000 Rand and renumbered the invoice. Now remember grade nines, we have to stop, evaluate and look at the keywords. Remember it's purchased on credit and issued an invoice. Can you record this on the accounting equation? Let's have the accounting equation behind us and fill it in. Pause this video and see if you can record this transaction correctly.
answer in three, two, one, let's go. So the equipment will increase with 9,000 Rand as the business bought equipment. The liabilities will also increase as the business bought the equipment on credit. Let's have a look at the summary behind us. All right, Green Eye Learners, we will be throwing you into the deep end. Right now, I need you to discuss with a friend and record the next transaction in the accounting equation by yourselves. Sold stock for cash for 1,500 Rand. Did you guys get it? Let's see. Okay, so we know that when we sell stock, there are four accounts that will be influenced. Number one, cash will increase as we sold stock for cash. This will increase with 1,500 Rand. Number two, trading stock that will decrease as stock leaves the business when it is being sold. Trading stock will decrease with 1,000 Rand. Remember, the profit markup is 50%. By now, you should be able to calculate this. Thirdly, sales will also increase. Fourthly, cost of sales decreases as it has a negative effect on the owner's equity. Sales and cost of sales will not be recorded in this accounting equation, but rather profit, as this has the final effect of the transaction on owner's equity. This also means that the profit will be 500 Rand. Let's just have a quick look at the summary of this transaction. Okay, for the last four transactions, let's have a little bit of competition in class. So for the first person that records all these transactions wins. If you are in class, ask your teacher for four blank templates to the accounting equation. You can find them in the description below. Transaction number one, received cash from M Malby as part settlement for a debt of 684. Okay, now remember the pause button. Answer in three, two, one. Your cash will increase as a debtor settles their debt and your debtor's control will decrease as they now do not owe the business money anymore. Raise your hands up if you got the correct answer. Well done. Let's move on to the next transaction. Transaction number two. Purchased packing material on credit from Howie Warehouse for 6,000 Rand. Pause button. Answer in three, two, one. Packaging material is an expense and will decrease the owner's equity. It was also bought on credit, which means the business liability will increase. Okay, let's move over to the third one. Make an EFT to Howie Warehouse in full settlement of our debt. Now remember grade nines, for the previous transaction, the debt was 6,000 Rand. Now keep that in mind for the following transaction. Remember the pause button. Answer in three, two, one. Cash will decrease as the business made an EFT payment. This was also done because they settled their debt. That means the liabilities will decrease as the business owes less. Okay, grade nine learners, last one. Let's see who will be the winner. The owner withdrew 1,800 Rand cash from the ATM for personal use. Pause button. Answer in three, two, one. The owner withdrew cash, which means the cash of the business will decrease. And this also has a negative effect on the owner's equity. All right, grade nine learners, let's give feedback. If you got zero out of four, one out of four, two out of four, three out of four, or four out of four, 
raise your hands up and show the class how much you got. For everyone that's got four out of four, the teacher has a suite in the drawer just for you. Thank you for listening to my Tumamina teaching. We will see you soon. We will be exploring the journals. Goodbye.